hello everyone you all are welcome back my people prophet elijah bami dele don't come out don't send message to boo boo to boari say make him release our man zikan for us so that be the message when he sent go give boari and this is for this he send message to to peter obi now say make i bring and come make we listen to prophet elijah bami dele as it is talker because i know fi the explainer finish someone who could listen to her all my amazing returning subscriber you all are welcome if you never subscribe for this my channel do me a favor and subscribe and press the bell so that if i drop her you'll be the first person to receive her okay make i put the full video make we watch please like the video share the video put your comment for the comment section God bless you, viewers watching all over the world. My name is a prophet, Elijah Bamidele Eluholo. By the grace of God, I'm the privileged enough prophet of Christ as to prayer and deliverance ministry. I am here to speak to you again concerning the revelation God gave to me about this, our brother, Dr. Nandekalo. I am here to speak as God gives me on trances. Do not look down on me because there is no body that God cannot use. God can use, whether you are big or you are small, He can use anybody. Remember how God spoke through a donkey. So if God can speak through a donkey, He can speak through the mouth of anybody. He said to Jeremiah, never you say you are a small boy, for I have anointed you to speak to nation. This is my, my duty, this is my office, this is my job. I pray for my country, I pray for my leaders on daily basis. I am here to speak as God has instructed me. Federal government of Nigeria, the Lord said, I should tell you people to release Nam de Kalu. You should release him and let him go. Lose him and let him go. Because what I saw is bigger than what we are seeing on ground. What is coming is bigger than what is on ground. Not everything I will say on camera. I will say little. Out of 100, I will say 25. What I saw is big. Every night I pray for my country. Every night I pray for my leaders. But what the enemy are planning that is coming is bigger than what we are seeing now. Please, I beg you. The President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, please, I beg you. Let Dr. Nnamdi Kalu go. Let him go. I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. This nation will not experience war again. There are war going on everywhere. People are dying on daily basis. Please, lose this, lose this man and let him go. Because what I saw is not good at all. And the Lord also spoke to me about the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi. The Lord said I should tell you to go and see, look for a way to see Dr. Tom Nam Dekalu. There is something he needs to tell you. There is something he needs to tell you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God said go and see him. Listen to him. Take advice from him. Take instruction from him. There is no need to criticize me. On the 26th of December 2020, I spoke about this Nam de Kalu. How is all people want to betray him for a pot of porridge? I gave that revelation. A lot of you, a lot of you said I was a fake prophet. What happened? The Bible said that the enemy of a man is a member of his own asshole. May God deliver you from household wickedness. May God deliver you from household enemy. May God deliver you from enemy close to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The same people he is dying for, the same people he's fighting for, and the same people that put him where he is today. The same enemies, family enemies. God said, I should please all the brethren. If you believe on this man, come Nam the Kalu, wherever you are, all over the world, the Lord said, You should pray for him. You should pray for Nam the Kalu. Federal government should release him. Mr. Peter Lobby, go and see. Look for a way to see him, it's your brother. There is something he's going to tell you. God said, Listen to him. Follow his footstep. Most of the things that is happening in Nigeria today, Nam de Kalu has prophesied them. Unknowing to us, we don't know that this man is a prophet. He has prophesied this thing that is happening today. Mr. Peter will be saying him that something he's going to tell you. Listen to him, follow his, his voice, follow his instruction. With God and with what he's going to tell you, sky will be your limit. I am not a politician, I don't belong to any political party. I am an APC member, I'm PDP member, I'm Labour Party member. All the parties in Nigeria are my parties. My duty is to pray for all the presidential aspirants. 
whoever God pick, glory be to God. I am not against anyone. I am not supporting anybody. All I am, I, I, I am doing is to pray for all the aspirants. Please, all the APC people pray for your candidates. The PDP pray for your candidate. Labour Party, all the obedient family pray for your for your candidate. Our prayer is for God to give us the best leader. Please, I beg you. It's not to me. It's not nothing. When I spoke about the Abuja, that is what is happening in Abuja now on the night of of June. Many many of you insulted me and called me names. I spoke about two elephants fighting themselves. I saw two elephants fighting themselves. When I spoke about it, a lot of you insulted me. All these things are they not happening now? Why not just sit down and think, listen to what God is saying through this small boy. Listen to what God is saying through this small boy. Don't look at me because I am not big. I know no listen. God is saying something through this small boy. What I am seeing ahead is bigger than what we are seeing now. Please, the federal government should release one of the couple. And the federal government, the Lord said, you, you should check your security very well. Mostly on the Asorok. It should be more, security should be more now. Because that is, I don't know what they are looking for. I don't know what they want to get from Asorok. But this is their target. This is their primary target. And God shot to me in the name of the Spirit. I'll be praying for Nigeria. And I'll continue to pray for Nigeria. And you that is going to share this like this video, I pray for you that every asshole enemy will be exposed. Anyone fighting you, looking for a way to destroy you, will die. Your glory that was buried will come out. As you shout amen to this prayer, I decree that you will not die. What kill others will not kill you. God hand rest upon you. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And God bless you that is watching this video. It is well with you. Jesus name. Yes, we don't come to the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like the video, put your comment for the comment section, and share the video. See you guys for my next video. Bye bye.